Hey there Capricorns, I hope you're doing well today and in the synchronistic flow, hi vibin'. This is, in this video I'm going to make for Capricorns, this is what you need to know from Spirit for the month of December 2017, what you need to know to manifest what you want with ease, joy, and bliss. And for those of you who are new to me, my name is Kelly Lunt and I am an intuitive channel. I have anywhere between uh, 7, 10, sometimes up to 20 Spirit Guides around me at any given time to give you the information that you need to reach your goal. Um, and for those of you who are interested, I have two spots open for one-on-one, -on -one, um, two to three month coaching with me for any goal that you want, whether it's getting your dating life popping, whether it's getting your business up to $20,000 in revenue, which I've done, or whether it's just if you are in a high stress job and want to be a little bit happier. Um, I've helped people in all three areas to much success. If you want that, go ahead and I'll put a link up in the upper right hand corner and I'll link to it below. Without further ado though, Capricorn, Here's what you need to know Ooh, for the month of, oh, guys, we've got a good month ahead for us. Um, I'm doing two decks for us this time. Let me do one quick shuffle of this deck. Looks like we have some change ahead. I peeked at the card at the bottom. Um, all right, guys, so for my Law of Attraction followers, this month is all about being in the receptive mode. <laughs> oh, this is an interesting read already, guys. I'm pulling from two decks for you, an oracle deck just to give us an overall theme of the month, and then the tarot deck to give the nitty gritty of what's going on. And overall for the theme of the month, we're starting out with Fiona, and this is the from a lot of attraction followers. This is the card that Capricorns, what we most, most need you to hear is that we have heard your prayers, we have heard your manifestation ask, we've heard your step one law of attraction ask. We've heard your affirmations. What we most need you to do is to step into the receptive mode. Step into the receiving mode. Start noticing the signs of your manifestation coming to you. Because you've already asked the angels for help. Now you have to be open to receiving it. Because if you guys, this is Kelly coming through. If you stay in the, I want a husband, I want a husband, I want a husband, I want 100,000, I want 100,000, I want 100,000. You're in the vibration of wanting it and all you're going to get is more thoughts of wanting it. You have to... Ask, believe, receive. All right, I want 100,000. I may not know how it's coming, but this is going to be a fun ride how it gets here. Universe, what's the first step? That's the mode that we'd most like you to see in. All right, I know I've already asked for the dating partner. I know that I've asked for the pay raise. I know that I've asked for more income. I know that I've asked to just feel better. What's my next step? That's what, we'd re that, that's what we encourage you guys to make. Because um, from there, any... Any confusion that you have, it's all about getting calm and present into your current moment, taking a big breath in and a big breath out and breathing in and breathing out and breathing in and breathing out. And as you do these three grounding or clearing breaths, however you would like to call them, it gets you present in the current moment. And then all you have to do from there is all the opportunities come in your way. Ask, does this bring me closer to what I originally asked for? Yes or no? Because what we'd like to bring your awareness to is that as you guys, you know, raise your vibrations on that emotional guidance scale list, or as you just start feeling better, it attracts more good things to you aka opportunities. Some of the opportunities may or may not be good for you. Some of the opportunities coming to you may not work out towards what you originally asked for. But just know that as you start feeling better and better and start, you know, living the high flying life, you'll be attracting more opportunities to you. So from there, it's not always jumping at the next opportunity that you get because we do see a lot of you open it up to the receiving mode, especially after this video. It's does this opportunity bring me closer to this one? And we'll give you one example. Kelly recently had someone reach out to her and say, hey, would you like to help me fundraise for a hedge fund or for like a mutual fund, some sort of investment? And he explained the breakdown, how she would make money and how the people that she fundraised for would make money, how everyone would make money overall and the type of funds you want to invest in. But she had to ask herself, does this help her manifest the love into her life? Does this help her manifest by helping others learn law of attraction more, help others live the life they want? So she, she turned it down. 
We want you guys to learn that kind of discernment. And it's as simple as taking that three breaths and asking yourself, does this opportunity help me with the direction that I wanted to go? Yes or no? From there, keep choosing your joy. Because if it's a no, it's okay to tell the person, oh, thank you so much for thinking of me. At this time, it's not something that I have as much time to de dedicate to it as I'd like to. I'd have to pass this time around. Um, okay, they're saying, I hope that makes sense to you. If you guys, you know, need a little help, you can obviously apply if it's an in-depth support you need. Or if you just have a quick comment below, comment below. We'll send you some love and energy. Um, okay, Capricorns. Damn, Capricorns. We have a good month. So from there, um, Aurora, you are flying high right now, which may threaten others, but don't just send because others will soon become inspired by your example. So from there, it's very much a month of you. Ask, get in the receptive mode, receive. From there, know that you'll be getting a lot of opportunities. It's up to you to pick the one that best serves this ask. So from there, you'll get that warm, glowing feeling in your chest, or perhaps you get it somewhere else in your body, but you'll get this really good sensation of, yes, this feels good. I have to do it to make through your choices. And then from there, it's okay for you to be happy. It's okay for you to be having the success. It's okay for you. We invite you to welcome the success in. Raise your, sometimes Kelly calls it an upper limit from that book um, by Gay Hendricks. <sighs> the Big Leap by Gay Hendricks. It's an upper limit of how much happiness you allow into your life. Law of attraction terms, it's how much happiness, the vibrational set point you're at. It's all about raising that one higher. Because um, it's about keep enjoying the success, keep flying high. We need you to keep flying high, Capricorn. Um, we need you to keep enjoying the su success. Whether you just decide to outwardly show how happy you are or keep it inward, it's all about knowing that, yes, life can be this good and keep enjoying it. Because um, from there, so I hope you guys get the overall theme. Ask, get in the receptive mode to receive it, and then enjoy it. Because um, from there, we do see an expansion into your family life. This might look like what some of you call a soul tribe, like a best a best friend coming in. Perhaps um, you'll get some opportunities of like free advice from people coming in. But again, go back to this card and ask, does it help me with this? Because um, we do see much love ahead for you this month. This month there's a lot of, ooh, God, guys, comment below. I will let you know what love is coming into my life, too. I'm curious. Oh, let me know. Um, but we see we see an expansion of your heart to allow in more love, to be able to receive more love from other people and to be able to love them more unconditionally. And from there, the best advice we could give you is that it's about observing them without reacting. Just like, oh, so that's what mom looks like stressed. So that's what mom looks like happy. When you observe them, then you could choose how you want to feel versus getting caught up and enraptured in how they feel. Um, and yes, keep going, Capricorns. You're very much on the right path. It's all about you staying in your step four law of attraction, your point of attraction. This is what I want. I know I can have it. Let's see how it's coming. Let's see how it's coming. Let, let's. What's the next step to get me there? Let's go for it. And know that success is yours. Trust that it's coming. Know that it's yours. And just watch the beautiful unfoldment of it. Um, all right, Capricorns. Now getting into the nitty gritty. This part of the re that's the overall theme, get in the receptive mode, see it unfolding, enjoy the journey. Now we're getting, the, now we're getting into the nitty gritty, and okay, it's not all fun and frolics for us this month. As the basis of the month, we got <laughs> five of earth. This is the card about fears around money. This is the card around, okay, this is hitting home. Um, it's the card of, it, it's not, it, it, it's just more, you're being a little, if you want to use the word paranoid about money, you're being deaf. I know I'm being a little guarded about my money. I'm like, ooh, I, I don't know how. I got to check to make sure this is how I want to spend it. No impulsive advice for me. So it's the card about um, you're being a little, they're using the word obsessive about your, your thoughts around money are being a little obsessive right now. We'd like you just to kind of release that a bit. Just be, admit it. If you're worried about money, just step five, law of attraction. I feel a little worried about money. I feel a little worried about money. Instead of running in this hamster wheel of, how am I going to pay this bill? How am I going to pay this bill? Can I hire this coach? Can I not hire this coach? Da 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 da. Onward, onward, onward. Can I afford this? Can I not? Do I need to cancel this? Do I need to cancel that? Should I buy this or not? Step out of that and just say, whoa. Like, get out of that thought train. Just say, I feel a little worried about money. And that's okay. 
I understand that I feel a little worried about money. And it's okay to be a little worried about money because after all, I just want to just want to pay my rent. I just want to have a good life. I just want to keep my roof over my head. I just want to keep good food coming in. I just want to keep, you know, water, um, pay my water bill. I do, I do enjoy my house. I do enjoy my house. So it's okay to be a little worried about money. All right. Park that universe. I'm ready. Go back into step one. Get the clarity. And if you're worried about money, what's the clarity that you get from there? You can at least, all right, universe, I would like to feel better about money. That's your step one ask. I'd like to feel better around the topic of money. Inner being, I know you know me. I would help me feel better about money. And from there, also let me know, what's my next step to earn to earn my next set of income coming in? Because um, what's going on from there, the basis of those thoughts Four of air. Um, okay. Oh, Capricorns. We're being typical goats and typical Capricorns. We're not giving a, giving ourselves enough time to um, rest. So what we've seen going on for a lot of you is that there's been a bit of a resting period, a bit of, I'm just going to take a break. I'm just going to nap. I'm just going to take the bubble bath. So there's been that self-care, the giving yourself the time to do relaxing things. But what we haven't quite seen enough of from a lot of the Capricorns is digging into how do you feel? Because a lot of what happened here was had you just admitted like, Hey, I just started a new job. I feel a little insecure. Everyone feels a little unease with change, a little insecure with change. I'd like to feel better about that. But what this, what this, what you're feeling right now with the obsessive thoughts is that you didn't stop the momentum. Instead of catching a vibrational fray and saying, "Whoa, I feel a little insecure about this new job." Well, that's okay. I'm just going to see how it goes. I'm going to tend to my vortex, I'm going to journal, I'm going to let my emotions out about that I feel a little, a little, what I feel about this new thing that came into your life. This is the outcome of it, the obsessive thoughts. So we want to invite you into, as you take the time to nourish yourself and to, and to take the bubble bath and, you know, all that self-care stuff, guys, um, we also invite you to go ahead and journal. And this is how I feel right now. This is how I feel. And then you have the power of once you admit how you feel, is this how you want to feel, yes or no? And then you could just walk yourself up that vibrational ladder. Um, okay, because from there, yeah, okay, guys, it looks like, so what's this, guys? Our challenge to overcome this, does that make sense, guys? The obsessive thoughts and the fact that we just didn't, um, identify how we felt and you know so instead of taking the hour-long bath or going to get an hour-long massage I did my self-care today a lot of self-care is just how did you feel about that interaction how did you feel about this interaction what's the what's the little bit of a thought that you have on a little bit of a thinking about because if you catch it then it's not going to become the obsessive overwhelm or the worry um, so our challenge this month to get out of that is to is to be a little bit be be willing to be the hermit be willing to be protective of your time and your space be willing to um you know a cat kelly loves when esther hicks says this but be a vibrational snob go ahead and say do the breaths would going out with this person help raise my vibration or not and if it won't it's in both of yours best interest for you to do something else so be okay to go within this month and also be okay to um, if there is someone who you know can help you tend to your vortex, be willing to reach out to them for help because so it's kind of a dual message for it. There's all, all the Capricorns out there. Some of you need to be okay with, with valuing your emotions and your point of vibration and be okay with if you think that hanging out with that person isn't in your best interest. It's not that you never need to be friends with them. It's that in that instance, it may, it may lower your vibration so it's not in your interest to hang out. For some of you, it might be go ahead and reach out for help. Ask for help. There are people who are who are willing to reach out and support you, and like ask for uh, willing to help you if you'd reach out and ask for help. Just just be very um, just be very choosy about this is what I need help with, and this person can help with that. I know interaction with this person will raise how I will make me feel better about this situation, and then go ahead and call them. God, guys, I'm so curious. I'll update you guys too. I'll comment in the comments below. Let me know what's going on with you guys. I joined my Facebook group. I, I, there's a link to it below. I'm going to start going live in there again in December. I took a little bit of a break this last month. Um, okay, because in the recent past though, what the fuck? This spread is all over the place, Capricorns. <laughs> 
in the recent path, oh, guys, we're upper limiting. That's what we are, that book that they mentioned, The Big Leap. I'll do some Facebook Lives on that if you join my group, Upper Limiting. Because um, in the recent past, you've definitely had experiences of joy. It's like you almost had that glimpse, that little bit of glimmer of hope of, hey, I can have it all. Mm, not quite right. You've had, you've had that feeling of hopefulness that all areas of your life can run smoothly. And from, so that's what happened in the recent path. They just kind of want to go back and say from there, though, there was a little bit of a doubt vibration that crept in. Wait, this is the first time I've experienced life being this good. Can it be this good? Which is because we didn't catch that doubt vibration when it first came out. It got this little this little bit of a downward spiral that we're in. Uh, but that's okay. I told you guys that they channeled how to walk you out of that. Um, and guys, yes, we can have it all. It's all about saying, I now allow more good into my life. I am ready to receive more good feeling thoughts. I'm ready to receive more good feeling friends. I'm ready to receive more good feeling situations, people, experiences into my life. And I'm ready to receive a new level of abundance than I ever thought was possible. Increase your upper limit. In terms of what's going on for us right now, present moment, oh guys, we got the fool reversed in the traditional tarot is the fool card, the dreamer card. Um, so this card is all about, um, yeah, there's there's a little bit of a fear of action, not fear of action, there's a little bit of hesitancy to take action, a little bit of, if you're an online entrepreneur, this will look like uh, the, um, Oh, I know what they're trying to say. I'm trying to think of the word for it. You know that if you're if you're an online entrepreneur or an entrepreneur, just a small business owner, sometimes you get that "Who am I to be doing this?" Uh, well, it's it's a form of sabotage. I'm for, I'm forgetting the technical term for it. It's a form of sabotage. It's kind of like so. There's a little bit of "Who am I to be doing this?" which is pausing your action. It's about knowing that you're just the right person to be doing this. We want to see this card flipped upright for you taking that next leap of faith for your business, for your love life, for whatever it is you're trying to manifest right now. Because um, there's a little bit of who am I to be doing this? So, you know, if you're if you're in a love, if you wanted to match, if you're single looking for a new love, or if you're in a relationship looking for more love with your current partner, it's who am I to experience this? Who am I to demand this out of my partner? Who am I to ask this of my partner? Shouldn't I be more self-sufficient? No, go ahead and take the leap of faith and say, hey, babe, I'd like to take that that cooking class with you. Ooh, it would be so much fun to, to watch this movie with you. Oh, it would be so much Ask for what you want. If you're an online entrepreneur, it looks like, who am I to be teaching this course? Who am I doing that? But, we, 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 but what we need the business owners and the online entrepreneurs to hear is that you're just the right person. You're helping people who are just a few steps behind you. So you're, so if you've, like, if you've just come out of abusive relationship, you are the best person to help someone who's thinking of leaving someone. None of that sabotage of, well, I'm not out of it. Well, it was hard for me to get out of it. None of that. You're the best person to help the person who's, I think I want to leave them because you know exactly what they were going through. So you are the best person to take the leap of faith. Wow, guys, they are with, whoo, they're coming through with a lot of passion for you all. Um, I know what mine is. I've been wanting to teach a six-week law of attraction course, and I stalled on launching it. I was going to launch it this month, but now I'm going to launch it in January. Oops. <laughs> um, in terms of what's coming ahead for us, we got the three of Earth. So what's coming ahead for you, Capricorns, is that we want you to hear is that, yes, as much as there's about, like, political correctness and as much as there is about, you know, getting along with others and being, you know, a team player, like said in the card, it's also about you being willing to step up into the leadership role. You being willing to step up into the limelight. We do want to encourage you to focus on how everyone feels who's on your staff and supporting you or your family who's supporting you or your children who are supporting you. Yes, we want everyone involved to feel good and whatnot, but it's about being okay for you kind of um, stepping us. Huh. It's about you being willing to step up and be a part of a team, but being willing to lead the team. God, guys, this is just Kelly come through. What, what is going on in your lives? This is like a pretty, God, they're telling us to go forward. What are y'all starting? I want to know, man. Um, okay, in terms of, this is the card of our personal power for this month. We got the Eight of Fire. Um, so our personal power this month is about trusting our decisions in terms of, you know, if, you're, if, you, if you have a support staff, it's about trusting the people that you hire to do their work. 
It's about if you have friends that you've asked for help, it's about trusting them. It's about trusting that although you have, there are many, there are many moving pieces in your life right now, Capricorn. Many moving pieces, whether you're an online entrepreneur expanding your business or whether you're looking for love or whether you're just looking to be happier. You, you've reached a new level of allowing more, um, you just have a higher container within yourself to handle more moving parts. You know, the love life, the business life, the taking a class, the hiring coaches. You know, before you used to just be, you would go to kindergarten and then you had you went home to mom and dad. Um you see how that was a small container? Your container has expanded. So your power this month is to recognize my container has expanded. All the new types of interactions, I, I'm now able to handle more interactions in my life, and I love it. It's all about how are you going to view this bigger container this month? Are you going to view it as a burden? Oh, look at all these people I have to prove of their work. Look at all these people I have to do blah, blah, blah with them. Look at all these potential dates. Oh, it's so exhausting going on dates. Oh, it's just, oh, I hate having to say no to people if I don't want to date them. Or are you going to view it as, whoa, look how abundant I am. I have all these people helping me. Oh, I love that they're taking care of this for me and they did most of the legwork. And I have just a little bit. Look at all these dates I have. I love this abundant supply of dates. This is definite affirmation that I'm on the right track for the number one honey bunny. Um, you know, or if you're married and have kids, it's how are you going to view, like, are you going to view your kids as burdens? Like, oh, I have to take care of Johnny today. Oh, I have to take care of Joe today. Oh, little Sally hurt her toe. Or you can be like, oh, this is what it feels like to be running a business and get a daughter with, with a broken toe. Okay, little pumpkin, let's get you to the doctors. It's all about how are you going to view this month? Because, yes, your container has gotten bigger. How are you going to view it? We obviously invite you and encourage you to view it as look at all these beautiful opportunities they have. Look at this is what it's like to um, to have too many opportunities coming in that I can't possibly say yes to them all. Because you see how that's just like, um, I'm great, I'm cool, all these opportunities are great, I can't do them all. That's a good problem that you guys have this month, Capricorns. Um, in terms of outside influences, okay, it looks so, whoa, spirit, what do you want us to know about this? This is the life experience card. This is the, um, I think this is the tarot, the tower card in traditional tarot. What do you want us to, oh, wow, it's almost as if other people in your life have recognized the shift and the change within you and they know that you're about to take off on a new level of your life. They're just waiting for you to recognize it within you. It's kind of like some people know that, you know, you may not be able to spend as much time with them or that it, it's really more other people in your life are starting to see the changes with the new Capricorn, starting to see that you're just headed in a new direction and they're okay with it. Um, do you want us to know anything about that though, Capricorn? Or spirit, do you want us to know, what do you, what do you want us to, how to navigate this? Just know that people in your life can handle themselves if you have to say no to them, if you have to um, potentially fire or just pause services or just turn down a date. People in your life, they're, they're big boys, they're big girls, they can handle their own emotions. And this goes back to what we were saying earlier with, with, these, uh, with these cards. You can get the obsessive thoughts of, oh my God, how are they going to take this? How are they going to pay their bills? Are they going to be okay if I don't date them? Um, who am I to dump them? Like, oh, I feel so bad for them. They're not going to like get a dating life. All these thoughts, it's, they're big boys, they're big girls. They can handle their emotions. The more that you drag it on and don't tell them what needs to be said, the worse, it, like that's when it's the worst that it can be. It's more like just tell them sooner so they can move on. You're being a little stern with us, Capricorns. Um, in terms of this is your, your hopes or fears for the month. Oh, guys, we're a little afraid of like stepping into our power. The overall, the general theme they gave us is about you did your ask, now start to receive it. Um, and know that more good is on the way. Um, but in terms of hopes or fears, this is very much a, it's like you're little, so it caused a little bit of delay. Remember in the present moment, we were hesitating to, to make some decision, to make take some action. Um, but it's, we very much see in a lot of you right now that you're kind of afraid. It's not really a fear, but it's more of like the, the fear of the unknown, the fear of that, well, who will I become if I make, if I take this leap of faith? Who will I who will I be? Will I be able to handle it? Will it be what kind of people will be in my life? What kind of interactions will I have? Like, 
what is this going to look like? So there's a little bit of fear of stepping up to be the leader, to be the more authoritative, more assertive, assertive. Uh, some of you will have to be a little more authoritative. Some of you will just have to be more assertive. Like, nope, this is what I think is best for me. Um, there's just a little bit of, it's that whole, I know what they're trying to say, guys. It's kind of like, uh, and, um, it's like sometimes there's this fear. It's called the giver archetype, the prostitute archetype, the, the giver archetype where you tend to give love first and then receive it. A lot of us are overcoming and a lot of you are overcoming and up at stepping out of that, that you have to give love to receive love. You have to take care of other people first and then you'll be taken care of. I can handle a lot. I'm a Capricorn. I'm a hard worker. I can take on their stress right now and help them and we can worry about me later. It's about no, it's about stepping up and and hey, this is what I need. Okay, that's what you need. Here's what I can help with you. And here's what I need help with me. Can't help me. Okay, fine. But still about prioritizing yourself just as equal to how you prioritize others, Capricorn. That's what we most want you to be okay with doing that this month. We most want you to be okay with prioritizing yourself just as equal to others this month. And we're going to say it again. We want you to most be comfortable prioritizing yourself just as much as you prioritize others this month. We want you to see the shining light ahead and know that it's okay for you to keep going for that goal that you want, that manifestation that you want, knowing that others will be able to tend to their vortexes on their own. It's okay for you to, to own what you want and go after it. Well, I like that message. Um, okay, in terms of our outcome this month, oh, it looks like, well, I'm going to channel it for you, but it looks like we're holding back a little bit um, in terms of expressing love for people. All right, Spirit, what are you still on for this? The page, page of water, page of cups from traditional tarot people. What do you want us to know for the outcome of our month? You have much success ahead for you once you're willing to flip it around and communicate what it is you need to communicate with love. The more that you hold back and wait to communicate with someone, that's when it kind of drags it along. And that's where you get in that ambiguity mode. Like, well, what if they react this way? Well, I don't want to hurt them. That just drags it on. The more that you can lovingly communicate what it is you need to communicate, the more that you're going to stay in the synchronistic flow, the living in alignment to rapidly manifest, the journey to be getting ready, to be getting ready, to be getting ready, to be getting ready. One step after the next, after the next, after the next, after the next. That's how the sooner you, this is what needs to be done and communicate it, this is, this is inspired action. You do step one, you ask us. Step two is where we align the energy and make things happen. Step three, you've got to get in the receptive mode. And you go, oh, so that's my next step. And then act on it. The quicker that you act on it, either by literally taking action or by expressing it to someone else. If you need to end something, you need to end something. If you need to hire someone, you need to hire someone. The more that you take the action, the more they're like, okay, I'm here. Well, now I'm here. Well, now I'm here. Well, now I'm here. Now I'm here. Because you have much success ahead for you, Capricorn. Just as long as once you just get comfortable with like, this is who I am. This is my plan. This is what I want. And just keep going after it, full well trusting and knowing that everyone else will be able to tend to their own vortexes. Yes, even your family members, even mom, they will learn to self-soothe. So it's very much okay for you to put yourself, we don't even want to say put yourself first right now, Capricorns. We really just want you to put yourself equal to others. Oh, mom, you want to go to the movies right now? Mom, I just worked like a 12-hour shift. Like, I'd love to go to the movies with you, but could we do could we do it a different day? I'm so tired right now. My head's pounding. I would just... The movie would actually hurt me more than it would feel good. Mom may or may not have a good reaction to that. Okay, honey, thank you for letting me know we'll go tomorrow. Or, you don't love me, blah, 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 bad reaction. It's about knowing that it's okay to still, oh, mom, I'm so sorry. It has nothing to do with how I, about how much I love you because I love you very much. Like, come here, give me a hug, mom. I love you. I just, my head hurts so much. It's pounding. I really just need to nap to let this pass. And I'd love to go to the movies with you tomorrow. It's about lovingly communicate your needs as equal to others this month for you, Capricorns. <sighs> All right. Lovingly communicate my needs. Got it. Got the message, guys. Did you get the message? Comment below. Give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you want to stay updated. I have some, I have some awesome law of attraction trainings, training coming up for you guys. I'm going to make a video for every vibration, how to own it, embrace it, and rise up so that you can get into joy faster. So uh, subscribe if you want to stay tuned with that. And don't forget, if you guys want to work with me and spirit guides one-on-one -on -one to get you in the exact vibration of what 
to be able to attract whatever it is you want, whether it's dates in your life, whether it's more love between you and your partner, whether it's enjoying your children more, whether it's moving on from a child who's passed away. I've helped people with that. Um, I've also helped a lot of online, online entrepreneurs start their businesses. For people who are new to starting a business, I tend to get you your first five clients within two months. Um, or if you already have an existing business, I tend to get you to those solid 20K months. Um, and if you're already at the solid 20K months, I'm helping someone right now um, sell their company for a little over a quarter mil. So I've helped everyone at every level. If you guys need that, apply. I have two spots open. Link up there and link down there. Much love. Mwah. Bye.